Okay, so today we are going to do a little review of the Chaser disc brake adapter. These can be found readily on eBay. I think it was $50, $55, something like that. A little backstory. A lot of people don't know I'm a longtime amateur professional uh, bike mechanic and assembler and builder. It's always been kind of a small hobby of mine. So we're working with a um, about a 1995, 90, it's about a 95 Bridgestone MB3. At least if I remember right, it's an MB3. Hasn't had the original decals on it since the 90s. And uh, anyways, we've had this bike since then. It's kind of floated around between a few of us, but uh, now my son rides it more than anything else. So we're rebuilding it once again. And obviously uh, disc brakes are pretty common now. Get tired of changing brake pads. I get tired of listening to brake pads, make all kinds of nasty grindy noises, even with the best compounds. So we're gonna make the switch. Don't really care about weight. I know that's a big deal with a lot of people are like, oh, don't put disc brakes on there, just adds weight. Well, it does, but I've got way more weight than uh, what this disc brake kit will add to this bike stuck in my belly. So there's that. Um, so yeah, anyways, sorry about that. Getting off sidetracked there for a second. Um, super, super happy with the kit. Unfortunately, I don't have the brake kit yet. We're going to go with the Avid, I think BB7 mechanical kit. It's very simple, easy to install. Um, that should be here later this week so I can finalize this, but, uh, On the Bridgestone frame, it uh, fits without modifying the frame at all. And it sits nice and square. I didn't have to grind anything off the dropout to get it to sit square to the wheel and the hub. Spacing looks good. Um, let me see, any other details? I think in the Bridgestones case, I was able to utilize the two lugs for accessory mounts, fenders, panniers, those kind of things. Um, so that's how I've kind of attached the actual bracket to the dropout. And really the structural integrity of the bracket comes from the uh, skewer holding it all together. This is just a bonus and a luxury to add a little bit of strength. Plus it makes it so that when you take the uh, wheel off, if you need to, that the caliper bracket just stays put. You're not fiddling with it. The ultimate strength to the frame, of course, is the little strut rod that goes up to the old uh, brake post. Honestly, this is probably a strong enough setup that it could probably run without the strut rod, but I'm just going to leave it on there. It's only an extra ounce or two, and I don't have to worry about this frame ever caving in on itself. Old chromoly frame. Unfortunately, uh, this is one of the, uh, I believe, the uh, Taiwanese Bridgestones. After they moved from production from Japan, I guess the J Japanese ones... Had a little different look to all the fittings and the way they were put together. Obviously, they cheapened these up a little bit. Still supposed to be TIG welded chromoly, but not as nice as the original early Bridgestones. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and pop this wheel off real quick and we'll uh, get a look at the brake mount up close. So yeah, you can see the couple of screws. 
these screws that I put in here, they're just, um, uh, I think they're derailleur, derailleur clamp screws. So I did have to drill the holes for these. Probably should have stated that earlier. I set it up, put the wheel on with the skewer, tightened it all down, got it adjusted where we wanted it. Matched up the dropout angle. Once it was set into position, then I went in with a 90 degree pick, obviously the screws wouldn't be in there. Scribed the bracket, the caliper bracket, so that I could drill it out on my little mini drill press and it, it just turned out awesome. So probably my one biggest complaint about the Chaser Tech Kit is it comes pre-drilled with this countersunk hole in it. I kind of wish they would have an option of just selling a blank one. Because there are frames with dropouts where that hole is just going to be more of a problem than a, than a help. But on this particular bike, no problems. Actually worked out very, very well. So that is what we have so far. I'm very optimistic that this is going to work just fine. So we'll get the brakes put together and probably hopefully have this guy riding by this weekend. Next weekend I guess it would be. If you guys have any questions about this kit, you all know where to put them. <laughs>